if you're getting frustrated because you're trying to find out how to do something in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can search the more than 500 GarageBand tutorial videos here on Studio Live today. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And I do that through tutorials and tips and tricks and live stream videos here on the channel. But I get asked this question a lot, Pete, how do I do automation in GarageBand? How do I use a compressor? How do I use reverb? Whatever the question may be, there's probably already a video answer for it. And I totally don't mind answering those questions. In fact, email me, Pete at studiolivetoday.com. I will definitely get back to you. However, there is an easier way because on my website, studiolivetoday.com, we have a search function. and I'm going to show you how you can jump in there. And the next time you're looking for something about GarageBand, how to do a particular function, this is going to be a quick way for you to find a video that's going to help you out. So here we are at studiolivetoday.com, which is my website. And yes, you can see it's kind of sparse here. In fact, if you're a web developer and you want to do me a good deal, yeah, I definitely need a better website. But it is highly functional because down the middle here, we have a bunch of links to where you can follow me on all of the different social media platforms. And you can click through to those. All of my contact details are there as well. And down the side, you've got the archives. So you want to go back in time and see what videos Pete was making when we first started the channel, then that's what you can do there. But I want to direct your attention to a couple of places. You can search either in the top left here or in the top right. I like this green search box that we have here at the moment. And then what you can do, if you're searching for something about GarageBand, we can type it directly in here. So let's go GarageBand. And there you go. You can see I've done this before. And automation. This is a question I get asked a lot. How do you do volume automation in GarageBand? So let's search GarageBand automation here on Studio Live today. Hit enter and boom, here we have our search results for that particular question. Now here we've got how to mix vocals using automation in GarageBand. That was a pretty recent video I did in October. And as we scroll down, we'll get some of the older videos. So stereo panning effect uh, using automation, how to fade out tracks using automation in GarageBand, using it uh, to automatically change volume levels. So this is the more sort of generic one and you get a little snippet there of the information about that video and then of course what you can do is click through here and it will actually open up that particular blog post so it'll tell you what's covered in the video and then it will have a link directly to the video on YouTube so that's what you can do there it's got all of the other information there this is an old video so it doesn't have a heap of info but yeah you can always get there'll always be a link to the video and a little bit of information about the video let's try another one shall we we'll come in here this time another question I get asked a lot is what about compression? Let's, let's search for GarageBand and compressor and hit enter, see what sort of video. So here you go, compression in GarageBand, adding and adjusting the compressor. So that's probably the video you're looking for. How do I add compression in GarageBand? And then we've got how to mix vocals using automation, a bit of a, a similar one that's obviously got compression somewhere there in the, in the description. The best pl free plugins for GarageBand, which is going to have a compressor. And once again, if you just want to find out about this, just click on that heading and there you go, boom. And we're straight in there and we can find out. So you'll see what's covered in the video. And then if you just click on that one, it'll go straight in and start Hey, Pete playing. here for Studio and Live today. Welcome to yet another GarageBand like Quick Chat. We're in just two minutes. I'm going to tell you all about a feature here in GarageBand. And by popular demand, there you go. So we're talking about compression in that one. So the play there. You can click the YouTube button there of to go over to YouTube and Let's watch go. it in YouTube if you don't want to watch oh me God, in a little driving. video here on my website. But that is a quick and easy way to find what you're looking for. Now, because I know many of you are on iPhones and iPads and mobile devices, let's jump over and take a quick look at how the website looks on a mobile device. So here we are on my iPhone and it's the exact same thing here. We just scroll up to the top right hand, we tap on the search box there. And again, this time let's search GarageBand MIDI edit, shall we? See if we can find a MIDI editing. And there you go, same thing. We can jump straight in there. We've got how to edit MIDI tracks in GarageBand. We tap on that one and boom, we're straight in there again. Close and accept those cookies. We can watch the video and we've got the information there ready to go. So just as simple to jump in here and play our video here on a mobile device. So there you go. Yes, a bit strange this one and perhaps a little self-serving, but a lot of folks come to me and ask me questions about GarageBand and aren't aware that my website at studiolivetoday.com has that search bar that you can actually search for GarageBand and any topic and you're almost guaranteed to find some sort of video where I show you how to do it. In fact, there's two more videos about GarageBand linked down below. If you wanna check something out right now, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon, and I'll see 
you on the next one.